Hello again, YouTube. We are back for the second episode of the comic cart. This is all of the comics I picked up this week, and it was a it, it was a doozy. So let's let's get into it. So I'm gonna start off with uh, some stuff I found at a book sale on Saturday. So I actually found these a whole bunch of stuff, and I'll, I'll save those to last because there's some of the cooler stuff. So, um. There was a lot of older stuff, there's a lot of random stuff, um, picked up issue one of New X-Men, X-Men Academy, just cause I thought the designs were cool, thought the main character looked, well, the center character looked kind of neat, figured issue one, see what it's like, see if I like the characters, then if I do maybe I'll try to find the rest of the run. Turns out it's not, from everything I've read, not a very good run, that's okay, it, w it didn't cost like anything. So I was like, all right, yeah, I'm fine with uh, just one random issue. Most of the other stuff was a lot more planned. Um, I did get the all-new uh, all X-Men annual as well because Dustin Nguyen cover. I love Dustin Nguyen's work. That's entirely the reason I got this. I haven't read the inside at all. I wanted it just for this cover. But yeah, um, got Pacific Rim Tales from the Drift number four which is, I really like the art on this, and I've wanted to actually look at the Pacific Rim comics for a while, and I know it's uh, a four-issue set, so it's not a huge investment. I can just find the first three, uh, but I love this color, and it was really striking, so I pulled it out. Uh, next up, one of the best finds I had, I know they're not worth a lot, but they're really cool to me. I really liked Static Shock as a kid. So I got Static Issues 7, um, 8, which is the Shadow War crossover event issue, uh, 9, 10, 15, and then 16. These were the only ones they had there. But so, I didn't realize it, and the book sale didn't realize it, but these were all two books to a bag when I bought them, like to a bag and board. So I, I basically got them all two for one without even realizing it which was pretty cool on top of you know uh getting the 1993 static comics the milestone ones which i always thought were really cool and kind of wanted this i believe is the first well introducing joyride i think is joyride's first appearance not that i think it matters because i don't think joyride's relevant right now but i don't know i thought these were really cool um static again i watched a lot as a kid so this is definitely a nostalgia grab for me but I thought it was really cool and to get you know the single digit issues that I did as well as just starting off and I think this is most of the second arc probably uh probably just missing two issues from the second arc there is pretty dang cool nothing from the first arc unfortunately but that's okay and then the last two I found there I was just flipping through and I pulled out Savage Dragon, issue one. This is actually in fantastic condition, too. As looking at him, like, I want this for historical reasons, right? I love Image Comics, Savage Dragon, Eric Larson. It was one of the really first Image Comics. It's number one. I know it's not really worth much, but historically, it's a really cool book to have. And, I mean, why not have at least one in my collection? And then, so I pulled this out, and I was looking at it. And this guy next to me who is flipping through is like, oh, you're into that early image stuff? There's an issue number one of Youngblood over here. And he went through and pulled it out for me, which was super cool. So I also got issue one of Youngblood in very good condition. I think there's just a tiny bit of like damage right here on the lines. But it's, it's a very good condition book. I know they're not really worth anything uh, monetarily, but to me, they're just cool to have again for the uh I'm forgetting the words now but but for those the historical aspect and I know I think issue two is like the one worth more money for these but um they had some later issues of young blood um but I I, I didn't want to try to pick up the whole series or anything I wasn't trying to buy too much I, I had like 23 fantasy novels in my cart there's n no room stuff is sliding out so 
you know, I went with the uh, uh, seven comics I thought I had. Turns out I had ten. That's okay. I got them all really cheap, and yeah, uh, got a whole stack of static for my nostalgia. Um, Pacific Rim, because I wanted to check that out. Oh wait, eleven books. <laughs> the Dustin Union one. I actually. I think I planned to not actually take new X-Men, and then I did because it just was beside the annual, the Dustin Union one, so I just grabbed them both anyways. You know, like, ah, I'm not going to take it, but, <laughs> oh well. Uh, I searched up a bit, that run doesn't sound that actual, like, good, but. Um, as for my pickups today, in comic book day at the store, we got first up, Year of the Villain, of course, number one. Interesting book, uh, 25 cents only, which is cool, but you can tell the paper quality is not very good. Like, it feels really fragile in your hands. Um, definitely interesting sort of setup. Uh, there's some cool information on the back about which issues are going to be, like, following this to pick up. Uh, there's unfortunately also a bunch of spoilers in there, so if you don't want to be spoiled, um, I'll, I'll show you which page to figure out which issues you need, but... Let me just try to skip to the end here. So they have all this information in the end with uh, details that kind of spoil stuff. Um, but yeah, so it, it does talk here about the Year of the Villain, uh, Justice League 25, Event Leviathan 1, Batman 75, and Batman Superman 1 all are introduced. There's some information here talking about the designs. Um, and then here, I'm going to cover this because it actually spoils something about Lex Luthor at the bottom there, uh, but it does have all of the issues that are going to be related, at least for the first wave of this, I believe. Um, yeah, read one or all these toys connect. So Action Comics, uh, 1013, Aquaman 50, Batgirl 37, Batman 75, Batman and the Outsiders 3, which I didn't realize they were starting a Batman and the Outsiders book. Interesting. Um, Catwoman 13, Deathstroke 45, Detective Comics 1008, which I'll be getting because I'm picking up Detective Comics. Uh, the Flash 75, Harley Quinn 63, Hawkman 14, Justice League 27, Justice League Dark 13, Nightwing 62, Red Hood 36, Supergirl 32, Superman 13, Teen Titans 32, which I might pick up, or I might just get the trade, but this will probably be one event trade, so I don't know if I want that. Uh, the Terrifics 18, which it was surprising. I know a lot of people aren't expecting Terrifics to keep playing roles for too much longer. And then uh, Wonder Woman 75. And this is all of the July issues, which are considered the offer arc. Um, so that's just all of July, and I assume the July stuff will talk about um, what to do for the rest. And then it kind of spoils something here. So I'm not gonna... And then, yeah, it shows some more stuff at the back here. Uh, talk about different books that have led up to this, like Seeds of Destruction, which is No Justice 4, Justice League 1-7 with the Source Wall, Justice League 5, Mother of Evil is like Justice League 12, the annual 18 and... Or, yeah, 18 and 17 to 18. Why does it say Justice League 18 twice? I guess... I don't know. <laughs> Weird. And then Dark Designs, you have the villain, 25 cent special. Justice League 25 and July 2019, more stuff happened. So that's like kind of the July books to look out for for this event. I'm trying to keep some uh, spoilers away because there's. Just don't read anything else on this book, just wh what I read there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. It's interesting. It's very different, but it does definitely feel like a full on. This feels more like a crisis than Heroes in Crisis, and that worries me a bit because I hope it's not, you know going to be another crisis that resets everything again. Unless if it brings back the past canon and merges it all, then I guess that's okay-ish. But I thought that's what Doomsday Clock was doing, so I don't even know. Um, I got issue 4 of Naomi. I had to back her last week, but it's finally in. Hooray! Um, he had like the last print of issue 3, and I didn't buy a second copy, which I feel bad about, because I have one in the mail. I know there's some other people searching for it, and it's literally the only one in the store, so I figured let one of them have it. I'm not going to be that person who's like, no, 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 I'm taking and reselling it for 20 bucks. Nah, I'll, I'll let one of the uh, other people who had asked about uh, trying to order it in after me. 
grab it because I like my money, but I also got my issue, and I'm not gonna. You know, I missed out. I didn't order it soon enough. That's on me. If I had ordered, like, yeah, I want three copies of this, like, two weeks beforehand, I would keep those three copies. But the fact there is, like, all of us trying to scramble for the last one, I got lucky enough to find it cover price online. I don't want to, like, push someone else to have to find it for 20 bucks online now. Uh, but so next up, we got Young Justice 5 that just came out. Uh, this is still a really fun book. I really enjoy it. Um... There's some really cool revelations in here. Characters show up that I really like. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I thought this was billed as like Ginny Hex's backstory. As like the solicits. But there wasn't really any. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see more. There's like comments. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's still a fun book. I'm looking for it. Because I think next book is the last of the arc. And then we'll go into the next arc. And start to see where it goes. The art in this is fantastic though. I... There's some really cool stuff. Alright. Next up here. This one I only bought. Those were the only two books on my pull list I was going to get. I don't have a lot for this week. But. You know. My friend's like. Oh, oh my god. This Teen Titans event going on. And it's like. Oh that's everything I've ever wanted out of Teen Titans. Which. I, I haven't been buying the Teen Titans singles. Because I'm already buying the graphic novels. And I didn't want to double dip. Because it's already like 28 issues in. You know, I didn't want to try to get that back or so I have it all in the single same uh, medium. But I figure it's an event, you know, I'll buy the event issues, that's fine. Um, especially because I really wanted to read this after finding out where it was. And I don't have, I don't want to wait another month or two for like an event trade to come out. So I picked up the Terminus Agent Part 1, which is Teen Titans 28. Part 2, which is Deathstroke 42. And I hate Deathstroke, so I'm not... You know, I don't like to buy the Deathstroke issues, but... Part 3, which is Teen Titans again. And then Part 4, which came out this week, which is uh, Deathstroke again. I'll definitely be buying Teen Titans 30, because it's the epilogue to Terminus. And then maybe I'll buy the 44 of Deathstroke, because that's the whole... Um, kind of end of his arc and then it does something new yeah because 45 is the start of the you're the villains so that's the last before that starts I don't know if I'll pick up I still need to go back and find the uh, issues that featured Tara because she's my favorite character so I want those issues at least um, but yeah it's a pretty fun event I love the new Teen Titans team so much uh, Red Arrow and Crush are super fun. Roundhouse is just the best boy. Like, God, he's such a good character. I'm really, really enjoying him. I, I've only read the first trade, so there's like a section in between before they start, so I don't know what happens. Or it, it might just be an annual? I'm not sure. There's like somewhere in there, but I still know enough to like have been able to just really enjoy this ride and yeah fuck Deathstroke stupid awful character <laughs> finally finally getting a bit of uh, being treated kind of as the villain he should be but also kind of not I don't know ever since the rebirth Deathstroke's ride they're trying to make him like a relatable villain but like he dated an underage girl while he was 60 you can't make that. Oh. In the in the in in the defiance run, they pointed that out over and over. So you can't even say it was written out of canon. It's still canon. And then he gets angry at Icon for pretty much the same thing. It's it's a mess. I don't like Deathstroke. I don't at all. Those are all old spoilers. But yeah, Deathstroke is not a series I like. He's not a character I like. He's one of my least favorite characters. Whenever I have these events of Teen Titans vs. Deathstroke, I love them. I pick them up because, I mean, the good guys always win. Teen Titans always kick his ass. They're the heroes. They have to. So, of course, I'm going to buy it to read that. Uh, but, yeah, so I kind of bought all of these. I didn't feel too bad about the money on it because, um, you know, I only had the two other books on my pull list. And co uh, free comic book day is this Saturday, so I'll probably buy some more stuff. That might be when I go and hunt for the 
back issues of Deathstroke I need for my Terra Markov stuff. But yeah, that's all I had. That went a lot longer than I thought. That's 15 minutes video. Whew. Didn't think it would take that long, but I guess I had close to 13, 14, 15 books, so minute per book. All right. Yeah, um, that's all I picked up. Feel free to let me know your picks, stuff you're pre-ordering. Um, I threw a bunch of stuff on my pull list, like Road of Bones. That sounds really cool. I'm really sad. Uh, Ghost Tree, I couldn't back order issue one and it's going for like 15 bucks from what I've seen so I'm just gonna pick that up in trades and not singles which sucks because I really wanted that series but I just did not add it to my pull box in time I had the release date confused I thought it was uh, a couple months away and then it wasn't but that's all right I am being good and adding stuff forward um so yeah let me know what you're picking up stuff you're planning to pick up in the future that you think other people should pick up so I can add them to my pull list before issue one comes out and I miss it. And yeah, just uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Hopefully see you later. Feel free to check out my other videos. I just did a manga and graphic novel haul for the month of April that should be up today as well. And we have our weekly anime podcast, which I think two episodes are back backed up. So I'm going to get those up hopefully today as well, if not tomorrow. So definitely check out some of the other content on this series check out lastly's videos and yeah hopefully i'll see you all next week um take care and i will see you later